Good morning YouTubers, or good afternoon wherever you are in the world, and welcome to Granite's Vids again, thank you for tuning in. Um, today I'm going to try and make a stove, a gas stove, using the hydrogen unit I've got. Um, just to start off with, I've got an empty beer can, two cans actually, and I've cut one slightly higher than the other, as you can see. Um, I've put also four little holes from a, 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 a sewing needle in each side of the bottom of this can and the idea is, is I'm going to um, drill a hole through the bottom of this to attach a uh, um, this in the bottom of, the, of that hole to feed the gas through when that's done I'm going to pack it with um, some uh, steel wool and this wool slots in the bottom and be glued in place like so so it sits like that with the hole in the bottom of that obviously and the gas hopefully will um, make some sort of stove. I've got this idea from what people have done on the internet called um, a penny gas stove which you can make a, a simple stove out of a tin can but I thought I'd adapt it a bit and see if we can use it for hydrogen as well. Now I've um, screw, uh, screwed it in there for a nice little tight hole and stick some glue around it, some PTFP tape as well and uh, let that dry off a little bit and I'll be ready to join these together. Okay I've put some um, steel wall in here this is going to be for like um, stopping the gas from exploding inside the actual uh, the stove itself. So you see, I've not really got a lot in there. I've not packed it down too tight. I don't want the gas to get through it. So that's sort of like not loose, but it's just a fair amount in there. And then this will, uh, in a minute, I'll glue this around the edge here of the uh, can and stick that in, inside it like that and force it in inside. That's what's going to be next. So there you go. Okay, that's pretty much in there now. Um, that's glued around the edge, it's inside it, and I've rubbed it around the edge so it's, it makes a nice tight seal. And uh, I'll let that dry now for a few an hour or so, and um, we'll give it a test. Um, to let you know what the glue I use, by the way, on this is um, extra strong clear adhesive from a local store called Wix, multi purpose, waterproof, and everything else. It's uh, pretty good stuff, actually. And that'll glue nice and hard in there, and that will. Um, I'm going to drill a hole in a worktop so I can fit that through the hole so it sits flat on my um, worktop with the pipe underneath it. Cool. Okay, so I've got my uh, pipe attached, drilled my hole in my worktop. I'll just pull that down a bit tight to there. I do find that's nice and strong there. And it's wired up to make that glue go hard and give it a test. Okay, spread number two. It seems to be stable. It's holding four flames. Um, as you can see, there's four flames there. I'm pretty proud of that. You can see the um, hydrogen being generated in there through the bubbler and out through the uh, oh, stove. A hydrogen gas stove. There's lovely little flames there, look. Beautiful. Seems to be working and holding up well. I packed it with